So what influence does Dennis Prager have in Orthodox Judaism? You hear about hundreds of people, maybe even thousands of people, being inspired to become Orthodox Jews in large part because of Dennis Prager and the things he writes and says. So how influential is Dennis Prager in Orthodox Judaism? I am a convert to Orthodox Judaism. I was started on my Jewish journey and inspired much of the way by the teaching of Dennis Prager. But on the other hand, when I first got to ask Dennis Prager a question in person, it was in Tampa Bay in 1993, I said, you know, I'm so excited about the things that you teach, but when I get into Jewish life, I find that the people who who know Torah, who are fluent in the native languages of, uh, of Torah, they're, they're not excited about your teachings. And you will find this generally in Jewish life, that those who are excited about Dennis Prager are not literate in Hebrew and Aramaic and Rashi script and the fundamental languages of the religion of Judaism. And those people who are Torah scholars, those people who can pick up a Gomorrah, the volume of Talmud, and read it fluently, translate it, they don't really care about Dennis Prager. So I asked historian and Orthodox rabbi Mark B. Shapiro, my question, what influence does Dennis Prager have in Orthodox Judaism? And Mark tells me I don't think he has any influence. I don't ever see him quoted by Orthodox figures. He doesn't speak in Orthodox shuls or write for Orthodox publications, and he is not Orthodox. So is it surprising that the Orthodox do not quote him? I was surprised and impressed that the Orthodox Union a few years ago had him speak at the West Coast Convention. But no, when it comes down to it, Dennis Prager does not have influence in Orthodox Judaism, and he has very little influence on Jewish intellectuals. So if you do a search of Google Scholar, see how many times his books are cited. Um, not very much. So he's now published five books, and uh, he's cited less than Michael Medved, uh, about the same as Mickey Kaus, and uh, not very much, as opposed to like a, a real scholar like uh, James Q. Wilson, or uh, even George Will or Charles Krauthammer.